What's up? It's about that time. It's mouth paging time. All right. Give me just a moment and we will kick it off. Mouth page style. All right. Let's check the website. Let's check Facebook and let's see how we're looking here. Whoa. All right. Facebook. How we doing here? How we doing? How we Facebook. All right, let's do a sound check here. Testing, 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 testing. All right. I hear us. We're off. We're running. We're off and running. already got viewers on Facebook welcome everyone we'll begin in just a moment here I know we're running behind I know Rabbi Yak we're always behind I'm the person who's gonna be late for my own funeral happy Tuesday Mary yeah all right we got a we got a live crowd tonight. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Happy Tuesday. All right, Shalom Mouth Pagers. Shalom. Welcome. Shana Tova. I'm, I can't say that enough. Shana Tova. Have a good year. Happy good year, right? It is that time. Hi holidays, hi holy days, however you want to say. Welcome out, mouth pagers. Happy Tuesday. As Mary said on our website, happy Tuesday. Yom Shlishi. Yom Shlishi. Hope everyone's had a great day, a great week, and ready for the weekend. I'm ready for the weekend. Is the weekend here yet? I can't believe it's already Tuesday, October 3rd. You know what that is? 28 days to my favorite holiday. 28 days until Halloween. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. Halloween. I am Rabbi Yak. Whoa. Are you kidding me? This guy is a rabbi? Whoa. Are you kidding me? Yes. I am a rabbi. I am Rabbi Yaakov Yosef. Rabbi Yak. Mouthpage is an online spiritual community and an online Jewish synagogue. You would never guess it by this awesome appearance, but I am. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live weeknight motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service. Check out our website, www.mouthpage.com. MP. Look at that. I even got my own little logo, my own little initials. Mouthpage. We have been going live now. Mouth page has been going live now for 41 weeks. 41 weeks. And we are now at home, oh, buddy. Check this out. Yes, I just said, yo, buddy. Are you kidding me? Yo, buddy. We are at 29,000. We did it. We just passed. 29,000 die hard mouth pagers liking us and following us on Facebook. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is so amazing. That is so awesome. That is crazy. I remember we were at nine on December 19th when we launched. I was looking for friends, anybody. And I've got over like 500 some friends on my personal page. And only nine people liked me. Because everybody else is like, yeah, you're just, yeah, God. Uh. We're at 29,000 already. That is awesome. 29,000 people. 29,000. Could you imagine? 
sitting there looking at that. That's like a baseball diamond almost, right? That's like a baseball stadium. We can fill a baseball stadium pretty close, more like a basketball stadium. But it would be awesome, right? 29,000. By December, I'm projecting, I'm predicting 50, 50,000. That's what I'm going for. We are going for 50,000. So last night we did Psalm 156. I know I'm animated. I go crazy. But we have to, right? I'm crazy for God. I'm crazy to follow God's laws. I'm crazy to follow God's commandments. I'm crazy for what God has to show us. And being the high holy days, and this being the holiday of Sukkot or building a sukkah, this is that time, right? I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped to be part of God's life, to be part of the way that he does things. But let's kick it off with the declaration of faith in one God called the Shema. For you Jews out there, Shema Israel, Adonai Elohenu, Adonai Achad, who speak Hebrew, and for people who don't hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who has kept us alive. Amen. Amen. All right, here we go. So last night, we did the Sukkot plan, the Sukkot plan, part one, part one. Hope you liked it. Hope you liked my take. But tonight, we're going to do the Sukkot plan, part two. So if you missed our holiday, if you missed Last night, if you missed, what is a Sukkot? The Sukkot holiday. A Sukkah is what you stay in. But let me explain to you. The word Sukkot means booths. Booths. It refers to a dwelling that we are commanded to live during this holiday. The name of the hol holiday is frequently called the Feast of Tabernacles, which, like many translations, it's referring to the Sukkot, right? The Sukkot. Like Passover and Shavuot, Sukkot has multiple significance, historical and agricultural. The holiday commemorates the 40-year period which the children of Israel were wandering, we talked about this last night, in the desert, living in temporary shelters because they didn't have any place to live. Sukkot is also a harvest festival. After God. Here we go. Here's where Rabbi Yak goes crazy. After God freed the Israelites of slavery. And then we, in the, during the Ten Commandments, right? We all know the story. He parted the Red Sea and all the Israelites ran as fast as they can. Tired, skinny, hungry, exhausted. Every emotion you could possibly think of. They ran across. They took Moses' word for it. But then they saw God's power. They ran across. God closed up the sea, and here they are alone in the desert. They have no place to go. No shelter. No food. They're homeless. They're homeless. Oh my golly. They're homeless. Now they're homeless. They have no place to stay. They have no food. They have no nothing. There's no cars driving by. There's no filling stations or gas stations or mini marts where you stand out there. There's no freeways. There's no nothing. You can't put up a sign and hold it so people can give you money. There's nothing. You're on your own. 
So how many of us have ever been homeless before? Here we go, right? How many of us have ever been homeless before? Okay, maybe not homeless. How many of us have ever been alone before? How about that? We've all been alone at some point in our lives, right? Maybe we're sitting here right now with nobody watching us. We're alone right now. How many of us have ever given money or food to a homeless person? Ask yourself that question. How many of us have ever ignored a homeless person? Oh, no, I have no change. No, I don't want to participate. No, I don't want to give any. Oh, no, no. How many of us have ever ignored a homeless person? Why is that important? First of all, helping others to be nice. That's part of what we, what we do, right? But part of being homeless is part of the history. For 40 years, the Israelites had to start over. Because for hundreds of years, they were in Egypt. They were slaves. But it got bad. It got ugly. It got nasty. And God said, enough. I'm going to flex. I'm going to show you who I am. Free the slaves. And now here they are living like homeless. They're, be they're homeless. They have nothing. They have nothing. Illnesses, diseases, they're going to come to them, right? They don't have chance to... To pick and choose. Oh, I'm vegan. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, I don't eat meat. I'm on the, the, the all protein diet. They don't have any of that stuff. They don't get to pick and choose the cool watches or the cool bags they get to carry or what kind of cell phone or pants they get to wear. None of that stuff. They just wanted to survive. They just wanted to live. They wanted to say, hey, hold on a second. I got something to offer here. So when we take this time to reflect and look at what this holiday means, think about that. Think about what if you, if you've never been alone or if you've never been homeless before, what if it was you? What would you do? How would you act? I don't know how any of you would act, but I know I'd be scared, but I'd be a fighter. I would try my hardest. Because I have been alone. I have been to the depths of, of my demise. That's, how, that's why I'm here, because God pulled me out. God helped me. I asked for God's help, and God saved me. So I know what it's like. I know what it's like to, to, to hit it hard. I know what it's like when people look at you like, <gasps> you got the plague or something. I know what it's like. I feel the pain. I know. I don't know what it's like to walk in the desert for 40 years. But I do know what it's like to suffer. This holiday isn't just about walking in the desert for 40 years. This holiday is about much more than that. This holiday is about starting over. This holiday is about being alone and finding people to be with you. This holiday is about never giving up. That is what this holiday is about. Don't quit. Don't give up. God freed these people, our people. He, they freed. God freed us from slavery, from being controlled, mind controlled, brainwashed, freed us. And here we are going, oh, I have no food. I've got nothing. Israelites were like, what? Moses, why did you take us out of here? Bring us back. We had something. God said, no, 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 no. you got to be free. But unfortunately, it's going to take some hard work. It's going to take some perseverance. It's going to take a lot of people working together. So building a sukkah is a place to live, a dwelling, maybe a temporary dwelling. Maybe it's the only dwelling they had at this time. Here we are as a holiday building it just to represent. But it's much more than just, okay, I'm going to sacrifice one day. 
Okay, that's great because that's what we're supposed to do. But it's much more than that. When you see a homeless person out there, stop for a second. Think about what if that was you? Because it could easily be any of us, right? We could be homeless. We have been homeless before. We've been slaved for hundreds and hundreds of years. Even more than that. If you look at our history, we're, we're always the subject of that. But it's much more than that. Helping other people. Helping other people. Helping others to be nice. Helping others to have food. Helping others to have shelter. Take this holiday as a time to say, whoa, what have I done to help another person? Take this holiday to say, have I helped another person have shelter? Bring them blankets. Bring people food. Give people money if you have to. Help out. Help your fellow man or woman, boy or girl, whatever, you, however you want to classify it so you're not offended. But how to help other people. Help other people. That's what this is about. Building a sukkah, it's much more than just some temporary dwelling. It's a lifestyle of helping other people. Because if you were there, wouldn't you want some help? Because we turn to God and God does that. But we have to help other people too. So the takeaway today is alone. You're not alone. A, always know you're never alone if you follow God. Amen to that. L, live for God and God will provide. We always hear that little saying, right? Work, live to work to live, not live to work. How about live for God, not live for work? <laughs> live for God and God will provide. Oh, only God is who you follow. Only God, no one else. All the tragedy and all the everything else that's going on in the world, follow God. God will get you there. And nothing is too hard for God. I'm going to repeat that again. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too big. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too wide. Nothing is too skinny for God. E, even when you hit rock bottom, and I have been there, God can get you out. If anybody can help you, it's God. So before we end tonight's motivation, I like to cl close with prayers and birthday wishes. So healing prayers for my father-in-law, for Vicky, for Liza's father, for Charlotte, for Kenny, for Ceci, for Terry, for Laura's mother, for Jeremiah, Jason, Joshua, Sam's daughter, Raul, Roger, Robert, Roberta, Stephanie, Ralph's mother, Greg's aunt, Sandy's son, John, Melissa, Kim, Paul, Paula, and Taya, Brian, Mark, Eric, Marvin, Steve, Grace's son, Mike, Mikey, Sharon, Marcus's back, Jonathan's family, Amy and Christine's mom. And also for everyone who was affected by the tragedy in Vegas, pray for them, for healing prayers for everyone. And happy birthday to Brenda and Gretchen. Yom Huleta Samach. Yevarechacha Adonai Vishamrecha Yer Adonai Panav Elecha Vechnecha Yisa Adonai Panav Elecha Vyasam Lecha Shalom Amen May the Lord bless you and keep you May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace Number 6, 27 Amen, Amen I want to thank you all for watching tonight, for being the best part of Mouthpage. Check us out every Monday through Thursday, live on Facebook at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday for our Shabbat service at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check us out. Our website, www.mouthpage.com. 
any archives if you want to check out any videos you missed our YouTube channel, Mouthpage Spiritual Community, our website, www.mouthpage.com. You love how I say that? www.mouthpage.com. Facebook page, check us out. If you know anybody who's a singer, a cantor, check us out. Shoot us an email, a line, a text message. Help us out because you don't want me to see me singing or dancing because I'm not neither or any of those. Also, if any of you know anyone who's spiritual who wants to take a day from me, come on. I invite you. This isn't just about me. This isn't just about one. It's at all. We're on all. We're a unity. I want to wish all of you a wonderful week. A happy week. Remember, help others to be nice. I know it seems tough, but it's not. Let's do it. Let's help others to be nice. God bless Lila Tov. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening.